Hello and welcome back to another Visa Friday. This week we are changing things up and talking about H4 and L2 derivative applicants. As we mentioned during our last Visa Friday video, our southern siblings Hyderabad and Chennai process all H1B and L1 visas in India. This means we also process all of the derivative visas. For H1Bs, those are called H4s, and for L1s, those are called L2s. So, today we thought we would share with you everything you need to know as a family member of H1B or L1. First things first, what are derivative visas? Derivative visas are issued to legally married spouses and children under age 21. These visas allow temporary skilled workers to bring their family members with them to the United States. The most important thing to remember is that in order to qualify for a derivative H4 or L2 visa, the primary applicant must have a valid visa. This means if the primary applicant visa is still pending, you cannot be issued a H4 or L2 visa. So, if you're thinking about when to schedule your appointment, we recommend either all coming together, the H4s with the H1B and the L2s with the L1, or if your primary applicant has taken an interview waiver appointment, we recommend waiting until the primary applicant has their issued H1B visa in hand before you schedule your H4 appointment. That way, we can ensure that all the visas are processed right away. When you come for the interview, please note that only children 14 and older need to come in. Kids under 14, they can stay at home. Remember, we do not allow electronics, toys, food, or drink in the consulate, which can make for a long day for kids under 14. Also, when you come in for your visa interview, please be sure to carry only the required documents. A copy of the primary applicant current and valid visa, legal proof marriage including wedding photos and marriage certificate, a valid passport of every person who's applying for the visa. Please have these documents ready when you get to the counter for an easy and quick interview. Please hand over all passports when asked. If you are applying for yourself and your children, please hand over a bundle of all of those passports to the visa officer so that we can process them all together. If you forget to hand over your child's passport, you will have to get back in line and wait again so that we can process it later. We hope these tips are helpful and we look forward to seeing all derivative H4s and L2s at the interview window. See you all next Visa Friday.